How are you doing? Cole Swindell. Good to, Good to see you. See you. Thanks for coming over. Hey, y'all look amazing. You do too. Hey, we've yes. been talking about it all night. We've been doing the cowboy hat versus the ball cap and what it says about the man. You tell me, what does it say about the man? Here we go. Oh my gosh, um, what does it say? I'm, I'm a big sports fan, this is my college. A lot of people, that's like the mean tweets I get when I'm on TV or doing any kind of performance. They're like, who's this guy think he is wearing <laughs> his initials on his hat? But it's really it's really Georgia Southern, it's my alma mater. Where I, it's a G. It's a G, it's definitely a G. A lot of people say George Strait, which yeah, tonight I'm, I may tell George it's yeah. George Strait because it's, uh, I'm a huge fan of his yeah. and uh, yeah, so I, I don't, I don't think I could pull off the, the cowboy hat, and it's just kind of what I'm comfortable in, so that's right. what I rock. A lot of times people talk about these shows, they say uh, that the nomination is in and of itself the real win, and I, I feel like, you know, you seem like the kind of guy, you're very excited about all your success, or you can just read it from you. Yeah. Is, is that how you're feeling tonight? I mean, it's, it is, I mean, and I know, I think that some people may say that's so cliche to say uh, just to be nominated is an honor, but especially tonight, I mean, right. look at the... This show, just to be a part of it, I mean, me and a lot of my friends that are gonna be sitting in these chairs grew up, these are our heroes that we're honoring tonight. And uh, yeah, I am I am so, just to be included in the show, even if I wasn't nominated, to sit there and see this show, this is priceless. I mean, this is <laughs> something that my whole life, I've always been a country music fan, and I'm gonna be a huge fan tonight, and I don't care who sees it. I'm, uh, <laughs> I just wanna meet everybody and let them know that, hey, thanks for, Thanks for paving the way. Thank you for for everything they've done to for you know these are the people that made me fall in love with country music. Sure. So I'm, who, I'm glad to be here. Who do you figure those people are in particular? Like who are you excited to see? You know I just just ran into Reba over here. She yeah. was a big big um, influence of my uh, Garth Brooks obviously sure. the Alan Jackson. He's a Georgia boy like me. Grew up loving him. Also uh, George Strait's the one that I really haven't had a chance to just shake his hand and tell him mm -hmm. how much his music has meant to me. So I'm. I'm hoping I get a chance to at least just tell him. I mean, that's uh, thank you for everything he's done, man. He's so, so not the king for nothing. You know? Someone that's sort of having this great wave of success, this like initial wave, and it's all, it's there's still this element of like it being sort of new, right? I mean, you just now casually said, no, oh, just talk to Reba, right? I mean, there's got to be a younger version of you that would have like just died to know that's true. Younger version, yeah, like two months ago before I met her. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> two months ago is, version. Yeah. I, I remember she came to you know a town next to mine where I was growing up, and she came every year, and that, that's mm -hmm. one of the only artists I saw live, and what a show! Um, I mean, yeah. she put on. And that's just to know there are people like her that are still still around doing what they love. And I don't think you're around as long as these people that we're honoring without being a good person as well. And that's, I think, it's more than just the music. This is, I mean, country music has helped people. And I know that I've had my taste of that with the You Should Be Here song, right. knowing that, that that hearing other people's stories. And I think now that I've had a taste of that, now that I know that I can use this platform to honestly help people, they all can't mm -hmm. be like that song. but. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to make a conscious effort to know that this is, uh, you know, people really do rely on us as songwriters, artists, to, to sing the soundtracks of their lives, and that's, uh, I'm lucky to get to, to be a part of that, so. Yeah. It's great that that's you're nice using the platform for, uh, for something good, you know, good. and be able yeah. to, to shine that spotlight yeah. on things that you care about. I think that's a unique thing, and it's obviously, it's, yeah, it's, it's important. a horrible thing to do. I think, and I think, yeah, man, there's just, to get to where we are, like, it, where I am in my career, I wouldn't be here without a lot of help. A lot of people that believed in me, that took a chance on me and I think you know just uh, me getting a chance to give back and help out new artists I believe in just the way my heroes helped me when I was mm -hmm. coming up and that's I think that's a, I mean to me that's country you know that's uh, there's a lot more than just the sound of music that when you think about country and to me it's you know treating others uh -huh. the way you want to be treated so I'm, uh, I'm tonight is I'm just gonna try to learn something from all <laughs> these people now. <laughs>